Republican Florida Governor Ron DeSantis criticized President Joe Biden's performance at the G7 summit, arguing that he served European elites rather than the American middle class. Biden met with world leaders to address global affairs at the G7 summit held in the United Kingdom. DeSantis told Fox News' Maria Bartiromo Monday that Biden's performance at the summit served European elites and left behind working class Americans. The governor said, World leaders were talking economically a lot about other countries. Biden was talking a lot about reducing energy production worldwide, and I couldn't help but think, here in the United States, he's leaving a lot of people behind. Look at all the workers he left behind by canceling the Keystone XL pipeline. Those were thousands and thousands of very good jobs. Biden issued an executive order January 20 to cancel the Keystone XL pipeline, which was intended to carry 8,000 barrels of oil from Canada to Texas and, in doing so, eliminated thousands of union jobs, according to reported estimates. BBC reported. The G7 agreed to end funding for coal production and help developing nations move towards clean energy production in an effort to reduce climate change. The G7 nations also called for the World Health Organization to investigate the origins of the virus in a joint statement Sunday. DeSantis argued that the leaders did not address the essential ways of holding China and American bureaucrats accountable for covering up the origins of the pandemic. DeSantis said, I didn't hear very much in the way of holding China accountable for their role in covering up the origins of the pandemic. I think that's absolutely essential. That China be held accountable for their role in that, as well as any bureaucrats in the United States who may have been covering it up. Biden's performance at the summit has been criticized by the public after he had told the United Kingdom Prime Minister Boris Johnston to introduce the South African president after he had already done so, and for confusing Libya and Syria three times while giving a speech Sunday. Fox News host Dana Perino said Monday that she didn't understand why Joe Biden's administration was referring to his meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin as a summit. Perino argued on The Five that using the term summit gave the meeting, and by extension, Putin himself, a certain degree of credibility. Co host Richard Fowler laid out video of both Biden and Putin talking to reporters ahead of the meeting. Biden had promised to work toward cooperation but also said that he would not hesitate to hold the Russian president accountable. Putin, in an interview with NBC, had denied any connection between the Russian government and recent cyber attacks, calling the suggestion farcical and asking, Where is proof? Fowler then turned to Perino, noting that she had assisted former President George Bush in preparing for similar meetings, and asked what the White House might be doing to get Biden ready. Perino said, A couple of different things. One, I think that right there in that interview you just saw. I believe Putin when he says, Where's the evidence? Just like I believe the Chinese when they're like, There is no lab leak. Of course, we know where it's coming from. We know he doesn't tell the truth. We know what he does to journalists in his own country, and he's out on this propaganda tour around basically saying, I am bigger and badder than Biden. Perino went on to suggest that Biden had given Putin some undeserved credibility by holding up their upcoming meeting as a summit, which would indicate that they were on equal footing. She continued, I do seriously wonder why the White House called this a summit because a summit indicates it's grand and it's big, and I think they should have just said, We are going to get coffee with Putin when we're over there in Brussels, in Geneva, we're gonna stop by and have a couple cups of espresso, and that's it. She concluded by pointing out the fact that things had changed dramatically since she worked for Bush, and that cyber attacks that disrupted gas and meat supplies were impacting real people all across the country. Perino said, The last thing I would say is I think if you're going to have a summit, you have to have a press conference. If you are the leader of the free world, you have to have the other leader, even if he is reluctant to stand next to you, or maybe if you are concerned how you will look standing next to him. I still think you have to do it in order to show that the media matters.